This is where we will be climbing. We have to go around and take steps to get down there. This is what I'm going to be climbing in a minute. My long leg. This is the grossest part of climbing. Because when you stick your hand in a crack, they climb all over it and it feels really disgusting. And these things are huge. Since not many ready to climb. On belay. Climbing. Climb on. When you're climbing, you use basic terms to get started. Ready to climb tells the belay that the climber is ready to start climbing up. On belay means that the belay is watching you and he's not going to let you fall or he's not talking to his neighbor. And then climbing means, okay, I know I'm okay, I'll start climbing now. Up is the when the belayer needs to pull up the slack. And oh, yeah? Say yeah, like there's too much slack, and you don't feel quite Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Then you need more slack so you can move, so you can move. Falling tells the belayer that you're gonna fall, so they better be ready. So when you yell falling, they have to tighten their grip and make sure you're not gonna hurt yourself. So, falling. And I didn't go anywhere. That's what the belayer's supposed to do. We don't let you go anywhere. To belay my dad. Next, the belayer takes the rope and puts it into the ATC. You hook the carabiner through the rope and through the ATC. <laughs> then you hook it into your harness, pull up the slack, and you're ready to go. Okay. Okay. Ready to climb. On the way. Climbing. Climb on. You pull up the slack by pulling down with your left hand and up with your right. Your right hand should never leave the rope because if the climber falls unexpectedly and your hand is off the right side of the rope, uh, it, it will pull through the rope and they will fall. Not supposed to fall. Your right hand on the rope. Watch me. Falling. Alright, now if I wasn't hooked in. I would go flying up the wall, but since I am hooked I'm okay, climber's okay, and I don't want to fly. When letting a person down, you put your right hand back and let the rope through slowly or quickly. If the person prefers to go down quickly, you can let it through quickly. Again, your right hand never leaves the rope. Climbs by himself using no rope, no protection of any kind.
The only reason my dad can free solo climb here is because it's very simple to climb and there is almost no danger of falling. I think last time you had to end up going out yeah, to that other right. section. So right. go straight out to that. Fingers are killing. I think that's gonna gotta be it. Right on. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Oh, thanks so much, Martin. I really do appreciate that. Just, yeah, thanks for even coming out of me. Yeah. Well, the, I think the easiest since I don't have a hand is if you all want to I'm not sure. Well, I'm I'm not sure. The easiest thing right now. Um, if you just left your uh, information at, if you just called um, Mountain Hideout, okay. it should be easy to remember. Did you in the phone book? Yeah. It's a camping store, it's over on Lover's Lane and, uh, in Dallas. And, um, if you just leave your information there, um, call them, say a message for me, okay. um, then I'll get that. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you use email? Uh -huh. Okay. How would you like an email address and stuff like that? Yeah. Mountain Hideout. Yeah. Right, that would work. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, get, to, get together. What are you doing in your master's in? Communication studies. Okay. Um, I work in Kelton um, with a consulting company down there. We like to build an amazing company. That's why I'm yeah. working for as a career as a consultant. Mm -hmm. And you can reach in underneath. Just start, start in the field, start a master's degree, and then see where it goes. Yeah. Is this, uh, what's, how long is the program? It's at two years. Two years. And so, uh, I just started this semester, so I'm a year and a half left. And probably after that, it'll be around the next while. Mm -hmm. 
Right. <laughs> Colorado can <laughs> move up to Denver, I don't uh -huh. know. So yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so oh, that's cool. And how long how long have you been back in Dallas? Only for uh, probably you know, five weeks all total or something. Oh, okay. So okay. Okay. So it's basically been most of the time, unfortunately, it's been spent at the, at the hospital almost every day for a long time. I had surgery about, my mom had surgery about uh, maybe eight weeks ago now, and uh, so then she was in the hospital for five weeks, so I was there almost kind of like every day for, for five weeks while she was going through therapy. And, and Do you have other siblings? Uh -huh. My sister also is going to move back. She has gotcha. in Portland as well, and I've been moved back, so... Uh, it's been cool. Yeah, that's been a while since I've been away for 10 years. Yeah. Too dangerous to rent equipment. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see a lot of the time you're almost going to get our family. So that's yeah. what we get. Yeah, it is. And it's, uh, you know, you, uh, otherwise I don't know that that ever would have really happened. You know, if you were off in our own world okay. and doing well. And, and, you know, we always come back and visit. And whatnot, but, uh, but it's kind of strange you're living in, you know, like right now I'm, I'm living in my house. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, almost, you know, 28 and living in, you know. This is a chimney climb. A chimney climb is any climb where you have to wedge yourself in between two slabs of rock. Under the rope? Uh, no, I'm gonna get down. Okay. Repelling <coughs> is basically descending down the rope or sliding down it if you prefer. You, what you do is you take your ATC and you hook it into your harness exactly as you did when you were belaying. You can repel on one or two ropes, whichever you choose. It doesn't make much difference. Then for protection of your belayer, you hook in a pressic. Uh -huh. 